Hey guys, welcome to Higan Iruthil, and let's do a review of uh, media. Um, if you notice that I already have her at four star because um, I got a copy of her in the guaranteed SSR banner. So let's proceed and see what she has for us. Um, I find her a bit intriguing. I've, I've been using her quite a bit but i'm still leveling her up especially her skills so um in terms of as you can see her focus here she does really have a lot of burst damage i i guarantee that to you guys she can be very good with her aoe in terms of um, um you know clearing out mobs but she can also be good in a single target enemy so what I'm saying is she is very versatile in terms of use. Um, you can really use her. Um, be my guest. Uh, she can be tier 1 at this point. My assessment of her at this point. But uh, she could be higher than that depending on what happens or depending on my further playtest of her in the next few weeks. So specialty is going to be board control. Um, she does have debuffs, by the way, and she focuses on her, her, her attack and also her burst damage. So you can't go wrong with her. If you're looking for a, a caster, she's a caster, by the way. So she's a caster and she, her element is light. So if you're looking for a burst caster, if you don't have any casters right now. Um, you can really, really use her. Um, but I think there are a lot of casters in in the roster even at um our rarity you have a few casters that you can use especially cloar and the other one is isa but both of them have different specialties this girl really um has more damage than the both of them so i think you should use her if you're looking for a burst damage caster at this point and your light element doesn't hurt because um in terms of um if you see the element table you're not really um most of the time you'll be encountering wind fire or water most of the time and you won't be you know you won't be at a disadvantage in terms of element based on this um this uh what do you call this this uh counter countering element chart i'm not sure what this is but more or less i'm what i'm saying is she's versatile enough that you can carry her in a lot of content regardless of the element that um is presented depending on the battle uh, right in front of you so again at this point i'm i have her at level 36 um as for stats um very nice ap by the way um at level 36 and what else bonus ultimate damage and crit damage here and nothing special here so i wouldn't expect a lot of health and a lot of the other stats from her because she is a caster so just be careful when you are using her and and um if you can see here again let's go back to the class so all allies charge energy five percent faster when you have a caster so if, i'm gonna show you my team later i do have two casters we're in we're in i recharge faster because of those two so let's uh let's try to look at her weapon here so this is her this is actually kind of cute i thought she was she was um she was like a range um hero or unit but definitely she is not i thought she was a ranger but she is a caster so in terms of her skills let's take a look at her basic attack so basic attack is just just really your basic attack so damage equal to 110 or 120 ap to an enemy nothing special her passive by the way is is for me it will give you an edge especially if you encounter enemies with different types of affinity what affinity means is the element so light dark fire um wind and water so if you have for each kind of affinity 
it's going to be a plus 11 to 12 percent ap as you level this skill up this is going to increase as well so with that skill i think she could go to tier zero at you know at this point first glance but right now i'm telling you guys she's a tier one near the top and uh, let's take a look at her ultimate so her ultimate is um turns into a powerful bullet uh, chat dealing m damage to 108 plus 362 percent to 225 ap to all enemies in a circular area this deals a lot of damage and after her active skill she has two of them you can actually switch between your preference so so this is the one that i'm not using so this one is applying focus to the target hit when a focused enemy is defeated all enemies within the three meter radius will take um m damage equal to one to 140 percent of media's ap so if an enemy dies the rest take um additional damage but i'm using this one so uh m damage equal to 108 plus 407 percent to 225 in total to enemies within an arc so this one is is outright damage um you don't really have to kill um your target as far as this one uh, you have to kill the target in order for you to deal more damage to the rest of um what do you call this the rest of um the enemies around or on the other side so it's up to you on how you prefer you can actually try both of them both of them are good but for now i'm actually testing this one talk show so let's move to her awakening so as you gather um additional additional copies so you'll be awakening um awakening stars and awakening phases as well so some of the phases here would give you stats uh, bonuses as well and also would give you passive you know abilities like this one at phase three so this is at rank three ap increase ap by 12 this is the first one after defeating an enemy this lasts uh for eight seconds this is actually quicker but i'd rather do this when there are no more than three no more than three so you have to have three or less in the battlefield increase ap by 12 to 5 percent which is this is fixed okay so and also this is nice if you have one boss left this is actually a fixed buff rather than this one so i'm going with this one and uh let's go here so for phase four so this um is tied to a thousand uh, two thousand words defeats an enemy instantly uses currently equip skill one time so this one is a trigger for the currently uh, equipped skill one time uh, when thousand word defeats an enemy the other one is upon entering battle um increases ultimate damage by 25 percent that's also nice but i'm going with this one because i want to trigger additional skill uh triggers and therefore additional uh damages as well so again uh you will have a lot of skills here this one for phase five upon entering increase ap by 10 um i think this is nice um this one is also nice as long as you increase it from 10 percent the crit rate because if you have it at 10 i don't think that's going to trigger much so it's going to be better to have increased ap by 10 percent which is the, her her damage and also i think phase six this one, if you if you're asking me, is um, focus applied by exclusive reduces targets uh, M damage mitigation by the extra ten percent. So this is it, this is more on um, defense reduction, and the second is active skill talk show attacks two more times, which I think I would go with the additional two more attacks. Again, her kit is really based on burst damage, multiple damage um versatile with aoe also with single target um again i'm gonna say she's gonna be tier one but she could be tier two guys a uh, tier two not tier two tier zero um let me build build her up let me just comment more as we go along but for now if you have her use her 
it's also nice to have her with uh, with another caster in the team because they could they could refresh um, energy as fast as they can. Let me do a a trial here on how she works. I'm going to do but I'm going to do this in auto. So just want I just want to give you guys an idea on how um her damage where her damage goes to not how big her damage is so let's um let's do this i have her currently in my team already so there she is so far i am at let's just uh, slow this down a bit slow this down let's just skip okay so let's just fight this one so we have two affinities here, which is roughly a minimum of plus 22%. Let's slow this down. Um, on a side note, I brought Siakom because of uh, the bear. The bear actually gives me another frontline you know, hero that uh, I can pair with Armand. So, as you can see, there's a lot of burst damage from media. These are ultimate, guys. Let's see how it does. Ooh, lots of damage there. There you go. Very, very... A lot of burst damage. Very, very nice. So, that is it. Let me just... Uh check and select and let's get out of here for my final thoughts okay guys so my final thoughts for media here i think both siakom and her are one of the you know two of the best um ssr uh casters you can't go with, with either of them they actually i i found it that i found out that they play well off of each other and um, again, please, uh, what do you call this? You can you can actually use her really, um, um, level up her kit, and um, take advantage of her burst damage, AOE. Uh, again, the burst damage is incredible. Um, once you clear out all those mobs, if you have a boss, then that boss will also take burst damage. So. Again, although her, her regular attack is not that impressive, but her skills, guys, her passive is. So, thank you very much for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.